Welcome to Malafi Training, where we will demonstrate how to access and navigate the Malafi Provider Portal. The Malafi Provider Portal is the platform that enables you, as a clinician, to view patient data from the healthcare facilities connected to Malafi. When available from the source EMR, Malafi will display the following Patient demographics, encounters, problems and diagnosis, allergies, laboratory results and radiology reports, medications, immunizations and vital signs, procedures and select clinical documents. The patient's Malafi file is embedded in the electronic medical record system. Your view of patient information in Malafi relies on role-based access and organizational security. You are assigned the appropriate security level in Malafi by your healthcare organization. When a patient file is opened in your EMR, click on the Malafi icon to access your patient's Malafi patient record. When you access Malafi for the first time, you will be required to read and accept an end-user licensing agreement, which confirms that you are authorised to access Malafi. Scroll down to read the agreement before you select Accept. The Malafi patient record is a read-only summary of your patient's information. The patient record conveniently displays your patient's data from different EMRs into these sections Patient Banner, Clinical Data Tables, Tabs and Clinical Document Tree. The Patient Banner displays the demographics of your patient. Here you can confirm that you have the same patient open in Malafi as you see in your EMR. Next, the tab below the banner, the Delta View tab, presents you with a view of the patient record without the data from your organisation. This ensures you can quickly find new information not recorded in your own EMR already. The orange alert at the top of the page reminds you that your organisation's information has been filtered out. The data from your own EMR can only be viewed via the Patient Summary tab. For example, when you access the Medications link via the Delta View tab, all medication from your own EMR will not appear. The Patient Summary tab will provide you a consolidated view of the patient's information, including information from your EMR. To view all the patient's encounters on a Timeline view, select the Timeline tab. The patient's encounters are represented here by shapes called nodes. Refer to the key to understand which encounters the nodes represent. Zoom into a specific time frame by clicking and dragging within the timeline summary bar. Once you zoom in, the encounters bar and patient summary dates will be restricted to match. Now, let's look at the clinical data tables. These tables display five lines of important patient information by default. If there are more than five lines of data, click the Maximize icon or choose Next to see more information. The first table displays a list of the patient's allergies, sorted by severity first and then by date. Keep in mind that Malafi is displaying information directly from each source EMR. Here, you can see that the patient has no known allergies documented from one of the source EMRs. This is not a mistake in Malafi, rather an opportunity to confirm your patient's allergy status with them and update your EMR if required. When an allergy is recorded at more than two sources, it is rolled up. You can view all the rolled up information by clicking the magnifying glass icon. Please note that some allergies are being recorded in source EMRs as free text. Free text allergies will always be displayed in Malafi, but will not roll up with coded allergies. To exit this pop-up window, click anywhere outside the window. 
Now, let's move on to the Encounter History Table. This displays a list of the clinical encounters for the patient ordered by the most recent date. The primary diagnosis for the encounter will display in the Diagnosis column. Click the magnifying glass icon for any other diagnosis. The next clinical data table is the problem list or chronic conditions for the patient. This information, by default, is organised by the most recent date. When a problem is recorded at two or more source EMRs, the problem will be rolled up by code. Clicking the red magnifying glass will allow you to see all the entries from different providers. The last clinical data table is the procedures table, which displays a list of surgical and minor procedures that have been recorded for the patient. Similar to other tables, the magnifying glass allows you to see procedures performed on the same date at the same facility. Let's move on to the clinical document tree. The patient summary link and demographics link are available here. The patient summary and patient demographics can be accessed and refreshed from these links. In this panel, medications, immunizations, clinical documents, laboratory, radiology and vital signs links are also available depending on the data availability. On the patient summary tab, under the clinical document tree, the medications view will display the medications that have been prescribed, dispensed or administered for the patient. However, not all event types such as dispensed or administered are captured in source EMRs. Therefore, Malafi will only display what is available. Malafi only receives take-home medication, both prescribed and dispensed, for outpatient, emergency and inpatient encounters. All administered medication is received for outpatient and emergency encounters. However, we do not receive any administration information for inpatient encounters. To restrict the results returned, you can search for a specific medication or by who actioned the event or the facility by typing into the search fields. Selecting a row will provide you with more information including administration details for the administered medication. When immunization data is available from the source EMR, the immunization view will display the immunizations that have been administered to the patient. While the partially given or given immunization is displayed by default, you can always use the filters to refine the results returned. Selecting a row in this window will provide more information, including lot number and expiration date. When clinical documents are available from the source EMR, they will also be visible here in the clinical document tree. Only some clinical document types are being sent to Malafi. The number of types available may increase over time. However, keep in mind that your role in Malafi defines the view of certain documents due to sensitivity restrictions. Use the scroll function to read through the whole document. Use the zoom, rotate, download or print functions as required. Please note that any unread documents or results will be shown in bold for clinical documents Laboratory, Radiology and Vital Signs. Select the Mark All as Red link to mark all as read. It is recommended to click Mark All as Red at the end of each consultation so that the next time you access the patient record, you will quickly see if there is any new data since you viewed the patient record. In the Laboratory Results folder, if your patient has lab results sent to Malafi, their final results will be visible here organised in a folder structure. Here you can see the folder hierarchy. Category folders can be expanded by selecting the small triangle icon. To view the individual results for a test, select the individual test in the laboratory folder. Here, 
the list of renal functions has been selected, and we can view all the results with the same diagnostic code for this patient shown in a cumulative view. The area shaded in light blue is the most recent test done for this patient. Always remember, the source EMR determines abnormal and critical abnormal parameters. Any abnormal results appear in red with one star. Similarly, any critically abnormal results display in red with two stars. The reference ranges for each test will display in Malafi as received from the source EMRs. If there is a difference in reference ranges across results, this symbol will replace it. To graph results, check the tick boxes against the results you would like to compare side by side. To print or download an individual test result, select the test hyperlink. Now select print. A pop-up window will appear with zoom, rotate, download or print options. Radiology results can be accessed via the radiology folder. The reports display the same way as laboratory results with the default being grouped by category or radiology study type. Expand the category folders and select the report you would like to view. Radiology results can also be printed or downloaded in the same way as laboratory results. Vital signs for your patient are also available in the clinical document tree. You can graph, print and download vital signs in the same way as laboratory results. Let's return to the options to filter and search in the clinical document view. The default setting for the clinical document view shows all documents available, is grouped by the category and is sorted by the most recent date. Click the I icon to filter the results. Select Source from the drop-down and select Apply to group results by source. Click the magnifying glass on the search field to use the search by function. You can search by any result name to quickly get the relevant clinical document. Malafi does not show sensitive information on the portal unless you have the appropriate level of clearance for the same. In Malafi, specific coded patient information is classified as sensitive such as information on behavioural health, in vitro fertilisation, certain infectious diseases, for example HIV and hepatitis, sexual health and substance abuse disorders. Access to sensitive patient information in Malafi relies on your job role and organisational security. If sensitive data is available in the encounter history, laboratory results, problems or clinical documents, the data will not display unless you have the appropriate permission to break the privacy seal. All allergy and medication related information is always displayed in Malafi and will not be locked. For a primary provider, if the patient's record you're accessing via Malafi has sensitive information, a break privacy seal notification will be displayed above the relevant clinical data tables, stating that not all results have been displayed due to patient privacy restrictions. Click the Break Privacy Seal link to access the patient's sensitive data within the notification. An Access Sealed Information pop-up will now be displayed. Tick the Access To checkbox. Select a reason from the Reason drop-down list. Always remember, Malafi support and DOH audit can be chosen by administrative staff from Malafi and the Department of Health only. Remember, breaking the privacy seal is logged and audited by Malafi. Enter further details in the comments box. Once you're done, click the Break Privacy Seal button to continue. Sensitive information in your patient's record will now be unlocked 
and indicated by an unlocked padlock. This will remain unlocked for one hour. As a secondary provider, in the event the patient's record you are accessing via Malafi has sensitive information, a view privacy notice will be displayed. For a secondary provider, if a primary diagnosis for an encounter is sensitive, the encounter will not display. If, however, a secondary diagnosis is sensitive, the encounter will display, but the sensitive diagnosis will be hidden from the diagnosis list. In terms of front desk users who have access to Malafi, the patient summary view does not include any clinical information. Only demographics and encounter details are included. Finally, for further support navigating through the Malafi portal at any time, please click the settings icon. Then, click the question mark under the user details to access the Malafi Quick Resource Guide. And remember, if you have any queries or system issues when using Malafi, please contact and provide the relevant information to your own IT support team. Your IT support team will investigate and then, if required, they will log the issue with Malafi support for you. Malafi, welcome to the future of healthcare.